Alright, today starts Lily's morel mushroom hunting training. How I start this is I got a mushroom in there. It's just a little tin with holes in the top. You can see we've already worked the box. She's waiting somewhat patiently for me. Um, but I'm going to put this in here. When she puts her nose on, I'm going to reward for her holding her nose on here. The idea of this is that um, she learns just to focus when she smells the morel go to it and just stare at it. Um, we'll do this for a week or two. I'm not going to video every one because it's pretty much going to be the same thing. Um, so, but I, how I go over do it is I have an article that has the morel in it. I drop it in the box. Once you put your nose on it, I feed. Once she eats all that, the idea is she puts your nose back on the article. And the reason I use like that tin with the morels in it, because if you put just a morel in there, they would end up eating. And we want to avoid that from the beginning. Um, there should be never a chance that they can eat the morel and, until the end of the training when they actually go out hunting them. And hopefully by then, they understand that just putting their nose on it will get them rewarded. Now you can just put one kibble in at a time, they eat the kibble, put the nose on it. Now she's searching for, there's back on the tin. She's searching for behaviors. Or you can add a bunch. Now we're going to end this here, um, or end the video here. But we're, we'll continue feeding all of our food this way. Normally, I just use handfuls like that, but you can also do a kibble at a time. Just seeing the box feeding, we did that for a few weeks. Now we're coming back. Hey. Now, this is the first time I ever did this. We got the same tin for different morels in here now. But what well, the idea is, I want her to lay down on this. I've never done this, so I'm not sure how well if she's going to get this right away or not. Um, but the idea is for to lay down with this between her feet and her to stare at. That's my final response. That's what I'm trying to get right now before we go any further. Um, and once again, I use the tin so they can't eat them. It, and it's just really easy to do. So, put the set on the ground. Now remember, I don't want her to be obedient to the food. Yes. So I just start off by... Um, yes doing what I've taught her to do inside the box, and that is hold her nose on it. And you'll see her come to the food. I'm not gonna let her have it. But as soon as she goes back down to the morel, I'll mark and reward. Yes. And over time, when she realizes this doesn't pay, that does. Yes, oh, she's almost there, you see that? Um, She just, yes. She's searching for behaviors that gives her the reward. And remember, her staring at my hands will not produce it, ever. Yes. We're gonna jackpot that one, give her a little more. Cause I really, that's what I want. Right there's what I want. I really wasn't expecting it this on the first time. Um, so if you don't, don't worry about it. Just keep working at it. Eventually, your dog will figure out. They'll, they'll search for behaviors. If you've done any training with your dog, um, where they know that they... Yeah, that's it. If they know that they, there are certain behaviors that will get them rewarded, they will search, randomly search for behaviors. So, remember. So we'll do this. Probably for a week or two until I really, until she just automatically does it. And then, yes. Then we'll move on to the fake morels right here. Same scenario, we'll do everything right here, and then we'll move outside. But I'm gonna continue this for a few more weeks and then we'll get back with you. All right, we have Lily here again for our morel mushroom training. Um, you've seen me start out of the box. You've seen me, uh, Work with the tin, getting her laid down on it. 
Now I'm using a jar. The reason I'm using this jar is because when she lays down and sniffs the morel, I want to make sure their mouth stays closed. It's just through repetition. Um, that's the theory behind it. So that's the way I'm going to go with it. And I had one dog that I didn't do this with, one of my labs, and he started eating them. So we're going to hope this corrects any issues with that. So I put it down. She lays down. Yes. Sticks her nose close to it. I'm still putting this because I've already taught her to lay down. Now, if you would do this before the lay down period, um, you wouldn't have to get her to lay down, but I've already taught her to lay down in the tin. So when she smells this, I want her laying down. Yes. The nose in the jar. And that, because that'll make sure her mouth stays shut. Now on this one, she can see the morel. Um, so like I said, just laying down, nose in jar. Yes. And don't ask for too much at first. She will get there just like that where she laid down on it. Um, that went pretty quick. This might not, it might take her a few reps. She's got the lay down part, yes. But holding her nose in the jar, we haven't got it. But we'll get there. Um, and like I said, this is in conjunction with laying down now. So one feeding I do laying down on morels. And so there's a good tip as I train, morel training twice a day, that's it. Morning feeding and night feeding. So morning feeding we're doing laying down, night feeding we're doing the, yeah, the mason jar. Um, but she's still laying down, I'm just sticking her nose in it. Yes. And we'll do this until it's, until I'm happy with it. I don't put a set time on this. It might be a couple days, it might be a couple weeks. Um, but that's how I'm getting her started on the morels. And then the next video, you, um, which will be a little bit, but you will see her <clears throat> laying down on fake morels. All right, so what I have here, I have Winston here, and what I'm wanting to show you in this video is how it should look after they are, um, after they learn to stick their nose in here, what it'll look like in the end. You just saw her, or Lily, doing it, and we was just beginning stages, but with Winston, yes. Now he just sat there and he focused, and he focused right on that morel. That's the final response I'm looking for. Um, and with the mouth shut. Yes. So I just wanted to just get on here real quick and show you what it looks like once they're done, once they've got it. Yes. And then it's just all about the reps, putting in the reps, so they learn that's what they learn to do. Um, when they hit that smell.